Hey, Sky here from Dam Semicolon. Just going to show you a quick tip on how to auto log in to your servers via SSH. So the first thing we want to do is just SSH into our server. Once we log into our server, we're just going to create uh, an SSH key. And you can do that by doing the SSH key gen command. Um, hit return twice when creating it uh, so you don't set a password on it. If you want to set a password on it, you can. Once you do that, if you go into your SSH folder, you should see the public key and the private key there. Now we're just going to um, concatenate the public key to our authorized keys. This will allow us to auto log in to our server. Um, and then we just want to change the permissions so nobody can access our authorized keys but us. Then once it's been added to the authorized keys, we're just going to remove the public key. And then we're going to exit our server. And now back on our local computer, we're going to go into our SSH directory. We're going to secure file transfer the private key down from our server into our SSH folder. Once it copies over, it'll now be in our SSH folder here. I like to keep my keys for my different servers in their own folders. So I'll create a folder for this one and then move the private key into it. And I just did a bit of a screw up there. But uh, now we're just going to go into our SSH config file and add the hostname alias. This allows us, instead of having to type out the entire SSH uh, user and hostname, we can just give it an alias. And so right here, I'm just giving it a BCE alias. So then when I SSH into it, I just need to do SSH space BCE, and it'll go through. Here we're specifying five different variables. One is the host. This is going to be the alias for our server info. Uh, second is the host name. That's the domain that you're going to be connecting to. Then there's the user, which is our user that we're connecting with. Um, the next one is going to be the preferred authentication method, which is going to be public key. And then our identity file, which is the path to the private key that we just downloaded. Then once that's in place, just save it. Now we can just do SSH and BCE, and it's gonna connect us directly to our server. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more of them, just hit the subscribe button below. Thanks.